Hello everyone. I am Saurabh Jain from www.bi-analytics.org and today this is the first video tutorial or a video series a case study where we will talk about how power query can be used as a automation tool in excel generally the power query is used for extract transform and load for further analysis but yes today we will look it into as a automation tool the idea is just to walk through our power query so i have a case where we'll talk about say you have a daily sales or production or any other kpi you track every day for a particular person and you need to track that report you make you want to make the template for it so how to go about it so let's dig into the case what the case is see it is a sales report i am trying to make and i have these names saurav Minakshi, Vidya, Sajni, Fabi, Kritika, Manvi. So I want these are my sales person team, and I want to have a daily row for each. Say in October there are thirty one days, so I want thirty one rows for Saurabh, thirty one rows for Minakshi, thirty one rows for Vidya. So the idea is it should have a date like this. Date, date, date. So I have thirty one rows for Saurabh, and I have to make this report every time. For each month, so say it will be 31 for October, 28 for February if it is not a leap year. So it depends. It may change the number of rows depending on the month. Fine. So this is the case. You can consider this case as a production report if it is for some products, daily production. If it is for HR team, it can be like daily time sheet of daily time in time out for a particular person. It can be sales report for a person. if it is a sales so let's went into excel and try to understand how this can be done with the help of power query there can be many ways to do it you can do with vba macros you can use power automate to do the things but here the idea is as we will look in further videos we'll move uh, we'll move forward to understand how power query works so i just thought to let's start power query tutorial with some example let's start so i have this excel available and see these are the names saurabh minakshi vidya fine and here this is the master sheet and this will be the worker sheet so this is the data where we will be looking into it see this is my daily register now right now this is for september so let's i want to make it for october so first of all what i want to do is this is first september so i write first october over here first october 21 as i wrote look i already get the last month last day of the month how i have written a end of month formula fine so this has been done so now i'll just go into this sheet and i'll press data and i say refresh all as i will do this refresh all see and i have got the data for 10 month so all the data has been changed based on the master now say i go into again this master sheet and instead of sorab if i write sachin and now if i refresh it again i will go into this register sheet and i refresh it data refresh all So see the name has changed so if you have 10 employees in your sheet you will get the data for 10 if you have 5 so based on which is the data available in the master sheet it will be converted so now i will show you how this can be useful so first of all let's go into let me show you data queries and connections so i have two queries one for this workers and second is a time period let edit this query Now what Power Query does? It records the steps. As in VBA macros, we record steps. So same way, we'll be recording here. So look, these are the two things. This is the time period that I have taken, and this is the workers. So now, when you have a source, first of all, this was the data we have taken. Now there was, I just connected my this uh, time period query into this. Then I come back to the source, 
then I added a column. Now this edit column was like in every row I have added this list of 1st October to 31st October. This list has been created and now I have expanded that column. So now expanded the column is done. I have changed the data type to date. Then I renamed this column to date. I added another column which I was needed to track. Say P1 is for some product 1 sales and I duplicated the column product 2. This has been done and with these steps now I just say close and load. When I click on close and load, data gets load and it's completely fine. And say I will again go into the master sheet and in search engine instead of it I write sorry fine and in the first October 21 I write first November 21. Now let's go again back and just click on this data. Refresh all. So look, I have got the data for Saurabh and I have month has been November. And now for entering the data, what we can do is we can go into this table design and we can add insert slices as well. So I can have a slicer for say name or date. Click on OK. So now look, I have these names and data available also. And suppose because data entering sometimes become tedious one. I can just click on Kritika. So when I click on Kritika, I have the data sheet for Kritika available. So now I can just enter the date data. Say I enter 30, 45, 45, 89, 45, 40, 50, 76. Now say I choose to do it as a Saurabh. So in Saurabh I write 10, 45, say 45, 60. Fine. These are data I have added. Now the smart thing is I have made it a pivot table over here. Sheet 1. So I'll just refresh this data. And look, I have the sums available based on the thing. So I have a summary report available just by clicking on refresh button. So now say I want to refresh this again and say this time I want to I can create a copy of this report and say if there's a next month has come and now our objective is to create the report for next month say 1 December 21 so I just click again data refresh all and look the data has been deleted and just you can again enter the data. Obviously, you have to take the backup at the end of the month. So this is the way we can do automation. Look, if I have been manually creating these tables, deleting these, it will take time. Generally, people do with VBA macro. So now you can do this with Power Query as well. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial thing. Now, as we have seen, how can we do the automation in Excel? If you want to do some any of the process to be automation, you have an idea. You say, I, I want to automate this process or you want to download this file how it has been done or you want to learn power query there's a website www.bi-analytics.org where we have different clubs like excel club office script clubs so there is a power query club has been made you can join this club you can ask your question over here you can post your query and as soon as now i'll be making new video tutorials that will be available in this club so look forward, hope you all will join us on www.pi-analytics.org And yes, if you don't want to wait for tutorials and want to learn from me, you are most welcome. I, I also teach on one-to-one -one training session with the help of Zoom. Look forward, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what are your comments after watching this video. Did you find it useful? Please reply in the comment. Thank you very much.